Vegan diet. He's doing well. He's an active kid being climbing coconut trees almost every day. How many coconut trees have you climbed, Yoko? Thousands? Thousands. Right. Go for it, buddy. How are you going? I'm 19 years old. My name's Buddy Friend from Queensland. I'm from Queensland. And um, I've been raw vegan all my life. Never, buddy, had any health problems or a tetanus shot in my life. No infection. Or, yeah, a lot of people hit me up with the question, though, um, how do I get my protein? Yeah, it's coconut. One coconut has the same protein as a quarter pound of beef. It's complete protein, absorbable from muscle building or, you know, if you're pregnant or something like that. You need a lot of protein. Anyway, yeah, so, and I don't know what to say really, but... Ask, ask her if you've got any questions. Any questions, anyone? What about the iron? Iron? I eat a lot of greens for iron, so my daily intake will be about... My daily intake will be at least 20 bananas before 9 o'clock. I'll, I'll drink it with uh, one coconut worth of cream. So I shred the coconut out, squeeze the cream and mix it with the banana and that aids digestion as well. As coconut's got a lot of lipase, which um, helps you digest every, everything you eat it with. They, you eat chickpeas, which is hard to digest, but if you eat them with coconut, they, drink, you know, they go down a lot better than without. But yeah, anyone got any questions, shoot away. Uh, how long is you been climbing stuff? Since I was about eight years old when I got enough strength to do it. Um, yeah, I'm always really energetic. We grew up on a farm of about 200 acres. Um, Mum and Dad used to buy a trampoline for every Christmas. So used to do gymnastics all the time on that. And um, yeah, got a lot of good life skills. I've never been in a classroom in my life. I was lucky enough to have the parents to um, homeschool me, so I didn't get influenced by any children or any other teachers saying that I might need eggs or milk or any of that stupid shit they give you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> any other questions? What do your parents do? Like, and are they also born or obviously? So my dad, uh, he changed his diet when he was around 20. He started studying meat inspectors course and they're talking about adrenaline and stress hormone. When you kill an animal, the freaks out and the defense mechanism is adrenaline, which cuts out your immune system and lets you uh, in on infection. So if you cut your arm, like, see that scar there? No. Did that when I was four years old. I ran down the stairs and tripped on the uh, last step with a big glass jar. And my arm was literally cut to the bone halfway around. I didn't go to the hospital or get a tetanus shot. I didn't even get a stitch. And no infection without animal products. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what's done. It's the hospital, you know, they feed the animals. So you go to the hospital, sick. So yeah, any other, any other questions? Sorry, this is my first time talking to you. Any other questions? Hey? Back, so I start my um, day with bananas, fruit, any kind of fruit really. Then after lunch I might crave something like a, I don't know, a salad. I don't need any cooked food at all. So I usually make a coconut salad. It's always, I use around two coconuts a day. With a quarter pound of um, beef, equal protein in each. So I'm eating around a kilo of um, digestible protein each day. So yeah, I get a lot of uh, Strength, muscle building, you know, you don't lack anything if you're on a coconut for your time. I never do any training, I've never been to a gym in my life. I only do productive work like cold garden, make, you know, get your own greens, organic garden. Or I do, my parents do the coconut markets every Sunday, which is at Port Douglas in the can, just above can. And uh, yeah, it's my job to peel the coconut every week. I feel 4 to 500 on Saturday and then all day Sunday. So I don't do training, but I do productive work to, uh, yeah. I've never had a blood test or B12 shot in my life, but um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing it soon. But I'm, I don't feel energy deficient or anything like that. But just uh, the first day I came to the festival, I cut my finger to the bone there, which is really deep. It's blood for like 20 minutes. I didn't uh, put a band-aid on it or cover it up and two days later I went swimming in uh, the 
water pools that it's really dirty water, people are freaking out. So, you know, you might get some sort of infection in the dirty water, but me and myself, I'm not worried at all without that adrenaline knocking my immune system out. I'm fully capable of being myself without a hospital. So a lot of people say chickpeas, uh, they don't digest it, you eat them raw. But if you eat it with coconut, it has, it has a um, digestive enzyme called lipase, which aids any digestion. So if you've got a food that's hard to digest and you combine it with coconut, which usually it combines with any food at all, you've got really good digestion eating everything raw. Any other questions? Yeah, so last year I had a uh, motorbike accident. I've been pretty wild child as I didn't go to school. And, uh, yeah, I've had a motorbike ever since I was nine years old. I used to play the uh, tin whistle at the Port Douglas Market in front of the coconut school, make up to $300 a day. Because my dad was in the uh, uh, band before I was born, and he taught me all the tunes. I know about 70 off the top of my head. I could do the scales 30 times on one breath. So, they used to get up to three hundred dollars a day as an eight year old or seven year old even, you know, up to fifteen. So that's how I was buying all my uh, motorbike. But they couldn't stop me as you know, I had my own money. <laughs> when I was nine I bought my own twelve hundred dollar motorbike and then uh, yeah, I was addicted to that. No one could stop me really, but yeah, I had a motorbike accident doing motorbike or overshot it down and uh, landed flat with my knee down and in ligaments and blood vessels and I was on crutches for six months for that. And yeah, I've not been surgery, but they are coming good. I can still climb coconut trees and use the different ligaments. Yeah. I'm healthy otherwise, I've only been lost here twice in my life. When I was twelve I crashed my motorbike, snapped my arm clean and I had the bone sticking out so they had to realign that. But they'll tell me that